Trump pledges to totally destroy a law that bars political speech by churches, other orgs. At the National Prayer Breakfast, President Donald Trump repeated a campaign promise, vowing to end the federal law that restricts political speech and activity by churches and other tax exempt organizations. I will get rid of and totally destroy the Johnson Amendment and allow our representatives of faith to speak freely and without fear of retribution, Trump said Thursday, according to the New York Times, adding that freedom of religion is a sacred right, but it is under serious threat. The Johnson Amendment is a 1954 law that bars tax-exempt organizations such as religious groups, including churches, as well as those that are educational scientific, literary, testing for public safety, fostering national or international amateur sports competition, and preventing cruelty to children or animals, from engaging in open endorsement of or campaigning for political candidates, among other political activities. These organizations may not attempt to influence legislation as a substantial part of its activities and it may not participate in any campaign activity for or against political candidates. According to the Internal Revenue Service, which enforces the law. If a 501 c. 3. tax-exempt organization is found to have engaged in political activity, it risks losing its tax-exempt status under the Johnson Amendment. Congress, currently dominated by Republicans, would be required to pass such a measure lifting the ban. Trump first stated his desire to abolish the law during his campaign for president, saying in June that Congress, following an anti-McCarthyism proposal by then-Senator Lyndon Johnson, Democrat Texas, passed something that makes people very, very nervous to even talk to preserve their tax-exempt status. It's taken a lot of power away from Christianity and other religions. Nevertheless, during his June closed door meeting with evangelical leaders, Trump associated the religious rights waning influence on U.S. politics with the Johnson Amendment. You talk about religious liberty and religious freedom. You really don't have religious freedom. If you really think about it, he said, later adding, I can tell you, I watched this during the last year and I watched fear in the hearts of brave, incredible people. And we are going to get rid of that, because you should have the right to speak. Trump also mentioned the law during his speech at the Republican National Convention in July, saying an amendment, pushed by Lyndon Johnson many years ago, threatens religious institutions with a loss of their tax-exempt status if they openly advocate their political views. In addition, during the final days of the presidential campaign, Trump's running mate Mike Pence recorded a pitch to evangelical congregants that was shown in churches across the U.S. In the ad, Pence